Fantastic. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Legendary Chiropractor Podcast. I'm your host, Johnny Reuter, and today we have a very special guest. And honestly, it's a Friday. We're going into the weekend with some love. And we got Dr. Robert Love on the mic tonight, on the screen today, and he is bringing the heat in regards to everything chiropractic for you. We're going to talk all about technology. We're going to talk about new trending apps, and we're going to talk about how to really market your practice in today's day and age with COVID-19 and the coronavirus, because times are not as they used to be. So we want to discuss all of that with you especially our students and our recent chiropractic school graduates, because this is the time that matters because you got to start learning this stuff. So when you graduate, you can fill your practice with amazing souls and change your community for the better. So without further ado, he's tuning in from Atlanta, Georgia. And when we get back from thanking these initial sponsors, we will dive all into his story, where he comes from and how he truly got into chiropractic. We'll be right back, everyone. To Inspire Women is the elite boutique coaching company for chiropractors who are looking to live life and run business in a way that is personal, unique, and authentic. They focus on business systems and money mindset mastery so you can pay down debt, be more profitable, and serve more people. Their goal is to empower you to achieve success by your own rules and your own definition. Head to toinspirewomen.com now because they know there's a better way. Cairo HD superior cloud-based practice management software. Cairo HD is a user-friendly all-in-one EHR solution built with one mission, to help you run your practice like a boss. Learn more at CairoHD.com. Dr. Brad Glowacki runs one of the highest volume, highest profile, highest profitability practices in the world. And it's all run with vitalistic communication procedures. Those procedures from his office are then shared with other chiropractors at his various trainings as a part of level up mentoring. This information is created, developed, tested, and then packaged simplistically before being taught. With bruises and scars from making mistakes, Dr. Glow always delivers refined content that is battle tested and simplified for use on Monday. To level up your life and practice, head over to levelupmentoring.rocks. That's levelupmentoring.rocks. Total Clinic Solutions is your go-to source for purchasing both brand new and refurbished chiropractic equipment, as well as phone support for repairs and maintenance. Call Derek and allow him to combine your wishes and his 23 years of chiropractic equipment expertise to find what's best for you and your patients at 704-622-4089 or head to TotalClinicSolutions.com now. It's time that chiropractors look beyond spinal alignments and measure the nerve connections that keep our patients feeling strong and performing at their peak. CLA designed the Insight scanning technologies to transform exams and generate powerful reports that give practitioners the certainty they have been searching for. Learn how CLA has partnered with practices around the world by going to InsightCLA.com. Easily share your passion for chiropractic and look good doing it with Above Down Apparel, offering a premium lineup of principled apparel that's impossibly soft, sustainably sourced, and chiropractic AF. Visit AboveDown.co and follow them on Instagram to learn more and score yourself some sweet chiro swag. SCED is the all-in-one system that allows for amazing control and flexibility of your scheduling. Yes your next new hire. Every aspect of when and where you service your customers is at your command. SCED is tightly integrated with your existing EHR system. This software was made by a chiropractor specifically for chiropractic. No joke. Go check out their latest care plan feature by heading to go.sked.life slash legendary pod. Dr. David Tuhill is an innovative product and marketing strategist bridging the gap between your vision and strategic plan. He will help you design specific products and processes that are both scalable and set up to produce long-term revenue and growth. He has previously worked with influencers that include Dr. Josh Axe, Jordan Rubin of Ancient Nutrition, Olympic gold medalist Sean Johnson, and many, many others. Schedule your call with Dr. Dave today by heading to meetwithdrdave.com. 
Thank you for allowing this brief disruption to take place. And now back to the program. Fantastic. Welcome back, everybody, to the legendary chiropractor podcast. I am thrilled and so stoked to hear everything that Dr. Robert Love has to share today. And we are breaking it down for you. But first, before we do that, I want him to share his chiropractic story, where he comes from and how he truly discovered and or how chiropractic truly discovered him. So go ahead, Doc, without further ado. I am, I'm going to do it quick, but it's a good story. Um, <laughs> so so the, the first exposure I had to chiropractic um, uh, was actually, well, two things. Uh, one, when I was a kid, there was something called, I grew up in West Virginia, in, in the mountains of West Virginia, mm -hmm. and there was something called the West Virginia Sports Festival. And uh, there was a chiropractor there named Dr. Barry Stowers. He's now the president of the board in West Virginia currently. Uh, and he sponsored the sports festival t-shirts. So everywhere people went across Southern Virginia. Now my second exposure came when I was uh, 19. I got in a terrible car wreck. So uh, a, a common chiropractic story for, for most people. I didn't have chiropractic growing up. Um, uh, it just wasn't a huge thing in, in our area. Nobody was out telling the story. And I, I wish somebody had been because what a difference that could have made in our lives. Um, but, uh, but I had a, a bad car wreck. And so uh, I ended up in a chiropractor's office and that was my first exposure to life university. Cause I remember seeing his degree on the wall uh, and I always thought, what a cool name for a school. Like, cause my grandfather always said he got his, uh, his degree from the university of life, right? Like hard <laughs> knocks. And so, uh, I, was, I actually went to life university. That, that's awesome. Um, but honestly, uh, it, it, it wasn't until, uh, it was, it was really my third career. Um, I grew up in television and radio, uh, so I came up doing TV and radio, uh, both sides of my family in, in TV and radio, and so um, I did that from, uh, from my teens. My very first job was running cables for, for a camera crew, um, and, uh, and then graduated up to cameraman and producer, and then I ended up doing a lot of on-air work, um, and then I ended up had the opportunity to build two FM radio stations from the ground up. Um, built a broadcast television station from the ground up, 100,000 watts, and then we affiliated with Warner Brothers uh, before they became the CW, and did that for a couple of years. And out of that, ended up doing a bunch of nonprofit work to help balance our uh, our relationship with the FCC. That's one of the things you have to do, and that led me into ministry. Um, so I left TV and radio in my early 20s. Um, Went to Washington, D.C., went to Wesley Theological Seminary and went into ministry, did three years of full-time ministry. Um, and then through uh, one of the processes I learned in seminary, we were doing uh, weekly meditations and gifts and graces inventories. Um, I was led to chiropractic. And, uh, and I always chuckle because uh, I thought for sure I knew the path that I was on and, uh, and where I was headed. And literally, I, I kid you not, it was in the middle of the night. I hadn't slept in a couple of days. I was very distraught about what was going on and I'm just doing these processes and chiropractic appeared in my field of vision like the Vegas sign. Like you know the famous Las Vegas sign, only it's like a red background and white lights all around and it's chiropractic. And I laughed out loud because I didn't know a thing about it, but I knew that's what it was supposed to be. And uh, long story short, six weeks later, I, I came to life. Awesome, awesome. What a cool story. I, I That's just, I love taking people back in time. I love watching your reactions, your face, your, your, you know, when you jog your memory, you're like, oh my gosh, like what a crazy, what a crazy story, right? But that's awesome. And people find chiropractic and chiropractic finds different people through yeah. various means. And it's really, really cool. And we're going to talk about a lot of that today because not only are we out trying to encourage the public to see chiropractors and be healthier and be a better them, but we're also really trying to get chiropractic out to the world so more people become chiropractors, right? And and there's two sides of that story, but like you said, right, just from someone simply sponsoring t-shirts, got that name out, and that was your first exposure ever to chiropractic. And that, to me, yep. is so cool because you don't hear a lot of that going on anymore, and we're going to talk about that in just a second, but that's so cool. I, lo I love your story. I love where you come from, and... Um, I'm excited to hear your passion here because we're going to talk today all about technology, different applications, social media. We're going to talk about yep. marketing and we're really going to dive deep into where we were, 
where we are now and how we move forward, right? In regards to technology and marketing and how we have a sustainable and successful, and I'll do this one for you, Doc, thriving practice during these tough times, right? Because that's what this is all about. So, Doc, go ahead, start us off with that conversation of just, you know, where were we? And then now, how are we, where are we now, right? Where were we and where are we now? And then we'll compare it to where we can go. Yeah, man, it's, it's a big new world. Um, man, 2020, and everybody's probably sick of hearing it, but we're gonna keep talking about it until we figure it out because 2020 has flipped the world upside down. And it's, it's just a different place than we were a year ago. Um, and, I, and I think, you know, for chiropractors, that comes with a tall order of how do we reinvent ourselves, how do we rethink how do we change the way our brains are programmed, our practices are programmed, um, and, and we look at what has worked really well and we can, we can up our game on and, and how to modify the new stuff and, and figure out where to go. Because uh, uh, you know, I was sharing with you before we, before we went live, uh, you know, we looked at our marketing calendar and all the festivals are canceled and all the screening events are canceled, all the live, you know, face-to-face marketing and, and, and the way we encounter a lot of people don't exist now. And so, uh, so there's no option but to retool, to regroup and to upgrade our strategy uh, and, and move forward. And, and you know, I'm, I'm a big proponent. I, I like to use myself as an example because I'll tell you, I came down to school. I didn't know anything about chiropractic uh, except for, you know, when I came in, I, I knew it was about car wrecks and I knew it was about back pain and, and sports and musculoskeletal. And the first time I heard the story, everything changed. Um, and, and, you know, I can tell you, I, I thought I was a smart guy when I got down here. I was in my, my late 20s. I had been through a master's program. I had been a leader in the two fields I've been in. Um, and I thought I was pretty sharp. Uh, and I had never heard the chiropractic story. And the first time I heard it, man, it changed everything. So what do you mean there's a master control system that runs the show and we're not checking it? And why haven't we been checking it? How come nobody checked my master control system? What's <laughs> happening? Uh, so I'm just a big proponent. Let's find every way we can to responsibly get that message out. Um, and I think, you know, technology is the future. Here we are. You know, this is our first uh, introduction here on the, on the digital uh, platform, the digital world. Um, and this is how a lot of things are happening, and this is where the world's turning. And I think that there are consequences to that, but we've got to use these tools uh, just like B.J. Palmer did, you know, 100 years ago. We've got to step up our game and use the tools that are developing in front of us. And, and you know, I think one of the things uh, that we've got to do in chiropractic is we've got to look back to look forward. You know, when you look back and you see B.J., you know, that guy was fearless in finding new ways to promote chiropractic. Uh, and, and what I mean is, you know, he built a radio station. He built a TV station. As a matter of fact, he built two, uh, you know, and he was just fearless for putting it out there. He, he found a way to fill Madison Square Garden in the middle of the last century, and we haven't done that since. You know, BJ was relentless and fearless for using every new technology, technologies that were mind-blowing and scary, and, and, and nobody knew what they were doing with to promote that message and to get chiropractic out to people. And I think we've got to do the same thing. I think there, there are ways to do it. We've got to be responsible at how, how we do it. But, uh, you know, I, I shared with you uh, uh, earlier, and I'll, I'll share with the, the rest of the crew now, you know, I'm a huge Gary Vaynerchuk fan. I love Gary V, um, and I love the way he thinks. And so uh, one of the things we've been doing lately is just watching the, the app store. Uh, and, and I'm an Apple guy, so in iTunes, we're watching the app store and seeing what's trending. And we're, we're watching where are people putting their attention, right? Because if you can find where people are putting their attention naturally, you can go try to carve out a piece of that attention, right? And bring things that are of value to them in that sphere that they're already interested in, right? And from there, you get a chance to form relationships, you get the chance to interact, and you get the chance to bring people into chiropractic by telling them the story in a way that they're ready to receive and through a medium that they're already using. Uh, and I think there's a lot of potential there. And I think all of us as, as a whole, we've got to be looking down the pike to see what's going to be coming, what's coming next. Because, you know, um, a few years ago it was Facebook and then it was Instagram and then there was uh, Snapchat and then it went away. And now there's TikTok and before TikTok was Vine. And the other thing is, is, is we've got to make kind of a commitment to ourselves to not get stuck. Right. Like 
We can't be like, uh, you know, like, like uh, maybe our grandparents who, who get stuck on the technology and, and uh, you know, why doesn't the TV work the way it used to, right? Like, we've got to be able to adapt and overcome and continue to evolve with the technology and evolve as people's attention shifts. So maybe like the unfortunate thing is just as you get good at something, the focus shifts to something else. And that I think is gonna be the landscape we're in for the foreseeable future. And I think chiropractic has gotta roll with that. Absolutely agree wholeheartedly. Now, I am going to, I got a lot of notes in front of me. I'm gonna to cut to a real quick sponsor break before I dive into these because I want to get in deep here because this is really important to me. Um, so we'll be right back from thinking these sponsors and we're going to dive back in. Every chiropractic clinic needs a compliance program. If you are not sure what that includes or why you need one, let Dr. Robin from RHDC Consulting help you build your chiropractic compliance. If you are ready to get started, head to robin dash hail.mykajabi.com and let Dr. Robin guide you to the end result. Dr. Christy Wick is revamping the landscape of women's chiropractic coaching. With a focus on connection and congruence, she's on a mission to empower lady DCs across the nation to create bold, successful lives and practices their way. Get started today by visiting theilluminatedsquad.com. Thank you for allowing this brief disruption to take place. And now back to the program. Fantastic. Welcome back, everybody. Now, I want to discuss exactly what you just said, but recap it in a way that maybe more recent grads and students will really understand and resonate with, because here's the important part. If we don't keep up or see where the puck is going, we will be left in the dust. It's inevitable. It's yeah. inevitable. And chiropractic cannot and will not and shall not remain or be irrelevant. I refuse to let that happen. Right? I there is a reason you don't know that, that the world eats us. Yes. Exactly. Exactly. The world will eat us alive if we do not stay ahead of the puck. And that is just the truth. Because we are we've always fought and we will always fight for where we are and where we are going because it, we're different and that's okay. It's okay because you got into this profession or you were called to this profession, chiropractic students and recent grads, you were called to this profession to make a difference, to be a difference, right? Not to be the same, not to be cookie cutter, not to give the prescriptions, not to give the meds, not to give, you know, the same old treatment that they're going to get elsewhere, right? You were, you were called to do something different. And that was my first point because I wanted to make that very clear. If we don't keep fighting, if we don't stay ahead of the puck, we will get swallowed by the beast. Whatever the beast is, we'll find out, but hopefully we don't need to, right? Now, the other thing is, is you said face-to-face -face marketing is, is right now, it's not really relevant. Yeah, you can do talks, you can do virtual things, you can do physical things if you choose to, um, but it's really tough to go to big festivals and stadiums and do things that you probably used to do when you screened and you can't do those anymore, right? And that's what a lot of people and chiropractors use to draw people into their offices. So recent grads, if you're not on social media for some reason, like maybe you got off of it because you were like, oh, I hate social media and all of this crap and everything else. It's like, no, 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 hold on. Because you need to be on it. I actually, I have a lot of people. And when I started the podcast, we're now on the seventh season, right? And when I started the podcast, I had people reach out to me all the time saying, and they're students, peers of mine that were like, hey, I'm not great with social media. Can you help me? Can you assist me? 100%. The answer is always yes. We just have to work it out together and figure that out together because we have to navigate that for what's going to look best for you and your community, right? And another thing that I want to mention real quick before I give I turn the mic back to you is, you know, complacency is the killer of adaptation, right? When we become complacent, we no longer are able to adapt and or when we become stagnant, we no longer want to change. So with that being said, when we just sit back we're happy with where we're at in life. We don't want to see where anything's going. You know, we're wondering why there's no new patients coming in the door, but we're just sitting here like, hmm, 
we'll wait for, you know, 2021, you know, that screening in, in the fall will be great. It'll, you know, we'll get like 16 new patients. It'll be awesome. It's like, hold on, hold the phone. There are other ways to go about doing this, right? Like there are other ways, social media, Google ads, Yelp. I, I mean, you name it, you can get out there and get in front of people and bring chiropractic to them. Now, doc, I want to talk about how we really truly bring chiropractic in the sense of where we are going where what are your thoughts what are your predictions in regards to what this is going to look like for the next maybe i don't know three to five years for now well i think <clears throat> going back to your first point in time your first and your third together it's time for you to lead right like it's time for chiropractors to step up and lead and and i don't think you have a choice i think i think you're you're, you're gonna lead or be left behind um and i think that that the way you do that i and i've said this for a long time is there's no substitution for giving a shit right like <laughs> you gotta care about people you need to catch fire for this thing called chiropractic and you need to care about the people you're trying to serve because if you don't know it the world needs chiropractic right now more than they've ever needed it before when you look out in the public right now, you know, I'm a keen observer of just posture. You know, it, it, it's like drilled into my brain when I go out in, in, in the world. And, uh, and you look right now and, and people are being taught a culture of fear. And that culture comes with real consequences. You know, that fear comes with physiological effects and you start to see people ducking down. You see the anterior head syndrome, man. You see that head tucking down. They tuck their head and they tuck their tail and they're all curled up. And you can see the postural effects of what this mask culture is doing, of what this fear culture is doing to people. And that's going to sit in their spine. That's not going anywhere. That's, that's there for us to grab hold of and set them free, give them that processing power back, turn their life force back on, show them what innate intelligence can do, show them what adaptability is. You know, that's our calling. That's our mission right now. And there's nobody else that's going to deliver that message in the world but you and me, gang. We got to get out and get it done. So I think that there's a calling on you right now to pick up your microphone, to open up your computer, to open up your cell phone, and start getting out there and spreading the word. And again, do it in a responsible way. Don't violate your state statutes or your mandates or say things that are unsubstantiated or uh, unsupportable. But get out there and teach people about the power of their bodies and healing and innate intelligence and chiropractic and setting themselves free. Um, and tying that back into to your points there, uh, I think the way you do that at no cost with no ads is just really, really care. Yep. Really show how much you give a shit about your people and your community by getting on and engaging with them. Again, it's look at your community and find out where is that community putting their attention online? What groups on social media are they in? What channels do they follow? What programs are they excited about? And get in and participate, right? Log on as yourself or as your office, however you, you want to do it, and get in those com comment threads every right every single day. Just start being a participant in the health and life of your community and every channel you can. And this takes minutes, guys. It's not a huge process. It takes minutes a day. But as you start to build up those algorithms where it sees you posting good organic content all the time, supporting other people's content, all the time. That's how you catch fire on social in your own community. Absolutely. I wrote down two things while you were talking there. First is lead or be left. I love that. I absolutely love that because it's so true. And a lot of people think that when it comes to leading, they have to be the loudest voice or they have to be the front of the pack or they have to be this, you know, charismatic and, and outrageous person, but you don't have to be that way. You can be what I like to call or refer to as a silent leader or a quiet leader, right? You can just in influence the people in your inner circle and around you who are closest to you to make better life decisions. And then that will trickle into their families. That will trickle into their families because as BJ always said, you never know how far reaching, right? You never know how far reaching. Oh, so absolutely. yeah. So go for it, right? Be a leader, be and, a leader. And Go ahead, Doc. I was going to say, we, we need leaders for every personality type. We need leaders for every, uh, uh, um, like the Myers-Briggs, every quadrant. We need leaders that can lead people from all walks, right? Like, 
Uh, you know, I'm a fairly loud guy. I'm pretty big and I don't mind getting up in front of a room and I've been trained to speak in front of audiences and crowds and stuff like that. And I'm, I'm fearless in that department. But I'll tell you, I'm anchored up in practice with two phenomenal women uh, who are brilliant. My wife, Dr. Amanda Love, my, our partner, Dr. Uh, Shannon Martin, and they're much quieter than I am. But I dare say, and God help me, I'm going to say it live on camera they're probably more effective leaders than I am. And that's true. It's not just me stroking their egos. Um, and I, the reason that, that the three of us try and do almost everything together is because we know we each speak to a different quadrant of the audience. We each speak to a different mindset and a different perspective and a different personality type. And, you know, um, some of us speak very internally. Some of us speak very externally. They speak very soft. I speak very loud and passionately. Um, but it takes that. So if you don't think that you communicate right because you don't talk like me, that's not good. Right. You need to talk because there's a million right. people or, or 50 million people just like you that need to hear it the way that only you can say it to them. Yes. Because I can't say it to them the way yes. you will. Yep. Absolutely agree, 100%. Now, second thing I wrote down was care and compassion will get you further than your competitors, right? So obviously there's competition within chiropractic itself. I'm not really necessarily talking about that because I think it, it gets ugly sometimes, but I am talking about competitors in regards to Let's, let's empty the freaking hospitals like BJ used to say, DD used to say, right? Sid used to say, let's empty the hospitals in that regard. That's the competitor I'm referring to. Obviously, there is a time and a place for everything. Don't ever take those words out of my mouth incorrectly. But I, I want you to understand that care and compassion, like Dr. Love said here, it will get you the furthest. You have to care. You have to be compassionate. You have to seek empathy in others before you can actually share a message with them or share what you're interested in with them and tell them how you can help them and lead them along that health journey and healing process. So that's those were my two big things. When we come back, we're going to talk all about Dr. Love's book that he wrote with his wife. We're going to talk about the secret of life and um, he's going to tell you where we can find it, how we can find it. And then um, we'll do that when we get back from thanking these last few sponsors. We'll be right back, guys. Dr. Stu Hoffman, founder and president of ChiroSecure Malpractice Insurance, is the foremost expert in both risk management and risk avoidance. Understanding the everyday challenges of today's practicing chiropractor and the current public perception of chiropractic has made ChiroSecure the fastest growing malpractice insurance program of the last 28 years. Find out more at chirosecure.com. Imaging Services' primary business is chiropractic solutions. With over 45 years in the industry of helping chiropractors, Michael Tokash offers free consultations on building your business. In the past year, Imaging Services has installed over 100 x-ray machines and digital x-ray systems in over 42 states across the United States. For more, head to theimagingservices.com. Thank you for allowing this brief disruption to take place. And now back to the program. Awesome. We are back and live with Dr. Robert Love. So, Doc, talk to us about your book that you wrote, The Secret of Life. Talk to us about that. And then also leave us with some closing remarks for recent grads and chiropractic students out there. Go ahead. Sure, man. Uh, yeah, so we wrote a book. Um, again, it's the same thing we've been talking about right now. How many ways can you find to get the message of chiropractic out to how many groups of people in every way possible? That's why we wrote the book. So uh, uh, here we go. That's what it looks like. This is a, a beautiful hardcover edition. Uh, but my wife, Dr. Amanda Love, our partner, Dr. Shannon Martin, uh, both contributed to the book. <clears throat> And what it is, it's just a volume one and eight, man. It's just a volume that, that I wrote this because I think that every chiropractor ought to have a book in their office that they can give to every patient to teach them to think how we think, right? And that's what this book does. It gives them a paradigm, a lens. We all look through the world in our lens. A lot of us don't understand that we weren't in control of shaping that lens. That's something that was done for us through most of our upbringing and schooling. Um, and it's not until later in life that we get to figure out that we can like take that lens away, we can put another lens in its place, we can change the filter, 
And that's what this book does, man. It teaches the public how to think like we do, how to think like we do about life, about food, about uh, your environment, about the things you have in it, about healthcare, about chiropractic, about all the things, right? And we just run it down through a list of topics um, and we whittled it down to make it easy. Uh, eight pages. We wanted people to be able to read this in a day. That was the whole point. So we started with like this 326 page volume and we chopped and we chopped and we chopped till we got it down to 108. Um, so there's something that people can read, man, because the public isn't going to read a 300 page book. I don't read 300 pages <laughs> at this point in life. Like, I read about a half of them and then I quit, right? So, so you know, I got a stack of them, right? So we wanted something that people could actually read and digest. And, and we've got it in all kinds of formats, right? So we've got it in all the digital formats. We made sure we went with, uh, we published through Balboa Press, uh, which is a division of Hay House. So that it could get distributed right, so that it made it onto Amazon right, so that it got in the uh, the bookstore through iTunes and and all the places, because you just want to find a way to get that message out every way you can, and that's that's the continual goal of everything we do. So again, like you know, um, buy the book, buy them for your practice members, pass them out, toss them out. It's going to teach them to think the way you think without sending them to four years of chiropractic school, right? Because I know. You know, we all think that the world thinks like us and that we came to it overnight, but most of us evolved as we progressed through school. And if you look back and think about how you thought your first summer of chiropractic school, your second summer, your third summer, you can see the evolutionary path of how that gradually changed over time, right? And then you get to the end of school and it's a massive change, right? You get out in the world and you figure out a whole bunch of other new stuff. <laughs> um, so this is this is a concise way, the best way we knew to communicate uh, everything that we knew in a way that the public can digest and take down. So that's what that's for. Awesome. Um, and 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 wise words to young grads, man, it's the same thing. You need to find every way you can to catch fire for chiropractic, catch fire for this amazing thing that we get to do, and spread it to as many people as possible. That's it. That's it in a nutshell. I mean, and and I know it sounds simple, and that's probably. A little bit nerve wracking, but it's really that simple. Yeah. Um, all the degrees, all the certifications, all the education is great. But at the end of the day, it's can you bring the public to chiropractic? Can you put souls on tables and let them have a taste and experience of what it is that we get to live with? And if you want to know how bad they need it, guys, just imagine your life for a second. Imagine if from this day forward, you could never get checked and adjusted again. Right. Imagine that you could never experience chiropractic another day in the rest of your life. Never again. That's what those people are living with unless you bring them to the table. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Right. That's the job we've got ahead of us. They don't even know what they're missing. They don't even know what they're missing out on. So you got a big job ahead of you. Get out there and get it. Spread the word. And we'll be right there beside you fanning you on. Absolutely. I love it, Doc. I absolutely love it. I love Dr. Love, and I appreciate you being on the show today. And um, I know this was a Friday edition, so I appreciate you making time for us on your weekend and um, just enjoying life because your words of wisdom mean a lot to myself, to chiropractic students and recent chiropractic school graduates all around the world that listen to this podcast, that watch this podcast. And we want to continue to bring tangible and relevant content to Cairo students to help them and guide them along their journey because it is an interesting time when you're in chiropractic school and you feel like you're in a bubble and you feel like the world is sometimes against you, but it isn't. And that's what this podcast is for, is to bring some light, to shed some light, and to give you some confidence to go out and conquer the world through chiropractic and through that lens. So thanks for being on the show today. Everyone, be sure to tune in to legendarychiro.com slash go. Legendarychiro.com slash go. That's where you can find all past episodes of podcasts, um, all past interviews, blogs, video interviews, vlogs, I don't care what you want to call it, anything, it's all there. Go to legendarycaro.com slash go, go find it, and um, be sure to check out The Secret of Life. I got the, the name down there on the bottom of the screen. It is available on Amazon, like he said, in all sorts of renditions, uh, print, digital, Kindle, etc. So be sure to go check it out, and um, I love you guys, I appreciate you, and we will catch you next time. Stay legendary, my friends.